Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and get your weekly energy. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates for you Virgos and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank to those who do reach out for those and thank to those who donate to the channel. And to those of you who do subscribe, it's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay? I hope that you guys had a good weekend. I hope that you're ready for the week ahead. Okay, let's see what the energy is like. For my Virgos, what's the strongest energy here, Spirit? What's the energy for the week ahead? So happy birthday to anyone whose birthday it was over the weekend, okay? I've seen a couple of you comment. Um, happy birthday to anyone whose birthday is today. Don't forget to comment down below. Let us wish you happy birthday. But give me a card, Spirit. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward for Virgo. Okay. So you have two cards coming out. I didn't really get a good shuffle. But you do have, look at the bigger picture and you have, you're very close to achieving your goals. Okay, yeah, confirmation. I'm here and take it. <laughs> But I did want to get a shuffling, so give me one more card for Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? Give me another card, Spirit. So we have, have faith in your dreams and the answers you need are coming. Okay. Some of you, you may have been going through some sort of a test or spirit may have been putting you through some sort of a test because you have at the bottom of the deck, your commitment is being tested. So I don't know if you've had somebody around you that's been trying to test your fate or your beliefs or it's almost like an energy as well, Virgos, where I don't know if you've had somebody around you where it's almost like they've been trying to prove you wrong, almost, almost like to get you to act out of character or it's that energy where let me see if you are who you say you are, kind of a thing. Hmm. But let's see, show me more. What's the weekly energy for my Virgos? Look at the bigger picture. So we have um, Gemini and Sagittarius energy out here. Well, let's look at the bigger picture for Virgo. So we have a main male. So this could have something to do with a main male. You may be the main male here. And you are very close to achieving your goals. And we have the number 10 coming out, which is the journey card. And this main male is a number one. Show me more about look at the bigger picture. What is the weekly energy for Virgo coming out sideways? Any card that comes out sideways for me is a blockage. It's the anchor. Okay. And this is a number 35, which boils down to an 8. But 35 could be significant or 53. But the eight gives me the energy of the eight of wands. And that talks about moving forward. That talks about things gaining momentum. It talks about things picking up speed. Okay. Now for it to come out sideways, I feel like this is an energy for some of you. I will know more when the tarot cards come out. But I don't know if someone here was trying to stop you or um, doing something. If someone here was trying to affect your stability. Right. This could also be something to do with the workplace. Because this can talk about your work and your profession. Hmm. Show me more about you're very close to achieving your goals with the journey. We have the feminine energy at the bottom of the deck. And we have a mouse looking at her. And then right behind it we have the clover which talks about luck and opportunities and chance. And again, the things that you have faith and hope in. So 
Someone may be afraid that something here is over. So again, whether it's this energy of the projection that they were trying to project onto you, on the things that you're trying to build, or whether this is you walking away from somebody because you see the signs and synchronicities. Or some of you, I'm hearing spirits saying, you just feel like something was wrong around that situation or around that person. And some of you may choose to end something. And I feel like you ending that and now allows whatever blessings that were coming in for you to come in. Hmm, Fox. Someone here thought they was clever. Show me more. What's the energy for Virgo? What's the weekly energy spirit? What am I getting stuck on the house? This could be a family member. Something could have to do with a home. I feel like a lot of my Virgos, you spend a lot of time at home as well. So it would say to me that some of you have a really small circle. But give me a clear message from my Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. The ring. It says promise, commitment, partnership, contracts and cycles. There's some sort of a contract or a cycle that is coming to completion. For some of you, this could have to do with a marriage with the ring. doesn't have to be. Mm. I'm also hearing someone here can't complete something. So again, I don't know you guys who you have around you or was trying to be around you or who was trying to stop something, but they can't complete something. Show me more. What's this energy over here? What's this main male spirit? You have the high priestess, Pisces energy. I'm telling you, your intuition is telling you something about somebody. Or well, it will be this week. And there's that eight of wands energy. For some of my Virgos, if you're, if you're something like a tarot reader or something like that, especially if you have like a platform and things, especially if that platform is growing for you, that you may have people that are trying to attack you. And it almost feels like they want to, I guess, shut you up. But show me more. Some of you may be traveling. You may be keeping this travel plans to yourself. And then we have the Nine of Wands energy. And the Nine of Wands is about the wounded warrior. So I'm going to see what clarifies it. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Who is this high priestess energy? Now, the high priestess does def definitely represent like a divine feminine. Again, it can represent someone who's very intuitive here. You know, the high priestess is someone who comes across as very mysterious, very quiet, but very knowledgeable, right? She is the person that holds the book of secrets. And the reason why the Most High Trust is her with the, or him with the book of secrets is because this is someone who will know and not necessarily say anything. Five of Cups. Now, you could have also gone quiet on somebody, right? What's the Five of Cups? Five of Cups was about someone who was needing to accept some sort of a loss. It can talk about someone who is crying over spilt milk. Who's the Five of Cups energy? The Wheel of Fortune. I feel like someone is upset because things are still turning in your favor. This is someone who can't change your destiny. Now, the Wheel of Fortune also, to me, with this journey energy out here, makes me think of some sort of cycle that is complete. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, the Three of Wands. With the Chariot, this is moving forward. This is you progressing. So something is still moving for you. This is you overcoming any kind of challenges or obstacles. This is you following divine guidance with the chariot. I'm hearing ancient, ancient knowledge, ancient wisdom. What's the Wheel of Fortune? King of Pentacles. 
so that's your energy um, or again this could be about your stability who is this king of pentacles mm. who's this king of pentacles that was the king of cups and the page of pentacles the eight six of wands and the eight of pentacles landed on the anchor something here is set in stone this is victory and success this is someone who has reached some sort of master skills here hmm what's the eight of wands Someone could be holding back some sort of feelings here or holding back an offer that maybe they want to make to someone. Because I asked who the King of Pentacles was and the King of Cups showed up with the Page of Pentacles. Now this could be some of Virgos, whether you are male or female, maybe you are trying to make some sort of practical decision. Spirit says follow your heart. The Eight of Wands is the Five of Wands. So there's conflict and there's drama and there's chaos here about something. Either about somebody moving forward or either about um, maybe some sort of communication that has come out here. What's the Five of Wands? People are upset about your destiny here, Virgos. They're upset about where you're going, what you're building. Yeah, they're upset that you are emotionally fulfilled and happy. Ten of Cups. Again, I'm asking, what is the Five of Wands? This could be family fighting against each other. <laughs> Spirit saying there's trouble in paradise. <laughs> or at least what these people thought was paradise. Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Four of Cups. Could be a queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This could be a feminine energy who's feeling like they've missed some sort of opportunity. Um, I don't really like to talk about other people and their gifts and things like that or whatever but spirit is saying someone here is losing their gifts or they never had them hmm. what's the nine of wands look at the bigger picture someone is seeing something differently here the nine of wands is the moon card and the moon card can talk about fear but it can talk about somebody realizing that maybe someone was feeding them some sort of an illusion What's the moon? Someone could be getting some sort of signs and synchronicities via their dreams. What's the nine of wands and the moon? Coming out sideways. This is the hermit, your energy again, Virgos. You're going to be seeing through something this week. And I'm hearing, unless this happened over the weekend. Nine of swords at the bottom of the deck with the four of pentacles and there's that queen of wands again. Mm -hmm. the hermit talks about doing some sort of introspection so for some of Virgos, there may be something here like i said that maybe you want to do you want to say give me one on the hermit your energy nine of pentacles What's the Hermit and the Nine of Pentacles? The Nine of Pentacles talks about someone who's single, independent, self-sufficient. <laughs> yeah, I'm hearing someone who has plenty. But that can be in different things. It doesn't necessarily have to be financially. It could be abundance of happiness, abundance of contentment. It could be abundance when it comes to your peace of mind. The World Card. Give me one more. Some of you may want to be single. Someone here may be watching somebody online. Seven of Cups. Give me one more. Coming in the reverse. 
There's a strength card, but someone here doesn't have the inner strength or the courage to do something. So they watch. But whatever they're watching, it feels like it's enlightening them, helping them to awaken, helping them to see, like I said, people and places and things from a different perspective, almost like the hangman energy, but yet still confused about what direction to go in. What's this over here? You're very close to achieving your goals and the journey and the ring. What's the energy this week for my Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. You have the Ten of Pentacles landed on the moon. Someone could be worried about their finances. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Ten of Pentacles talks about wealth and abundance. So it keeps landing on the moon. So again, I don't know if... This is like an energy of fraud or something like that. Or like I said, something coming to light about someone that's not authentic or they weren't genuine here. Maybe someone here was just doing something for money. Eight of Pentacles. From others and my Virgos, when it comes to your business and work, things look really good here. You're very close to achieving your goal. It's about staying focused and committed. Show me more. What's the energy for Virgo this week? Thank you, Spirit. You have the Ten of Wands. What's the Ten of Pentacles? You have the Seven of Cups. Landed on the hermit. So again, this energy of somebody here being spun some sort of <sighs> illusion. Seven of Cups can talk about opportunities, yes. So again, for some other girls, there may be lots of opportunities coming in for you this week. You may see a difference when it comes to your work, right? Um, for others of you, the Seven of Cups, it, it talks about choices. I also see someone who who may have a choice in terms of who they want to be in a relationship with. What's the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups? Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Seven of Swords, yeah. Liar, cheat, a thief out here. Seven, seven talks about warnings. So again, pay attention. What is this, Seven of Swords? Coming out sideways, almost wanting to come in the reverse, landing on the Five of Wands. Ooh, there could be some sort of a outburst this week. This could be an energy of temperatures rising. The Two of Swords in the reverse can talk about, again, the energy of confusion and fear. Someone who's indecisive. This is someone who, I don't know, because it can talk about an overload of information. So it's that energy where someone here has been overloaded with information that they're, to the point where they don't even know what to believe. This is delays as well. And this makes the Nine of Swords, which talks about, again, anxiety stress, sleepless nights, can even talk about depression. I don't know, does someone suffer with some sort of a mental, I don't know, is this someone who's mentally unstable? What's the Eight of Pentacles in the upright? The Three of Cups in the reverse landed on the Five of Wands. I don't know if, if someone here parties too much or they indulge in something too much. It could be affecting their work. But this also talks about three being a crowd. What's the three of pentacles? Someone here may be pulling back from partying and focusing on their business, right? But what's the three of cups in the reverse? The 
chariot, the knight of cups and the knight of swords. I see someone who's finding it difficult as well to kind of keep away from friends. So, you know, Virgos, if you feel like that, you know, not saying you're a people pleaser or you kind of don't want to seem like the party pooper, you know, but it's a kind of an energy where don't be afraid to say no, especially if it's affecting you or affecting your work. The Chariot, the Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Now, this can talk about somebody wanting to come in to make you some sort of offer, but I don't know if this is like an energy where if you refuse the offer or, you know, you kind of turn around and say to someone, oh, you know, no, I can't really do that today, or no, I really don't, you know, I'm kind of busy. I don't know if this is someone who kind of then kind of turns nasty with the Knight of Swords. Now, this could also just be saying to me that, you know, this is you seizing opportunities. Maybe what you do for work is something that you're very passionate about. But give me one card. Why is the three of cups in the reverse? I see someone studying. So you must have some sort of exams or something coming up soon. Three of cups is in the reverse. The tower, Scorpio and Aries energy. This is sudden change. I don't know if people feel like you have suddenly changed on them. But this can talk about releasing things, right? It can also talk about having a sudden insight. So again, I don't know if this is someone who may be seeing a family members or a group of friends or whatever differently. Give me one on the tower. It's like having an awakening. Six of Wands. Someone could be surprised with you, right? Especially if you're in the public eye. Six of Wands talks about victory and success. This is also that energy of whoever this is, right? Walking away from the Five of Wands energy, right? I'm no longer indulging or um, participating in this kind of low vibrational petty energy with people, right? And this is someone who's focusing on the Ace of Wands. So either a new beginning, right, or a project or a business or something that you are passionate about or simply just putting yourself first. What's the Ten of Wands? The Nine of Cups. It's almost like spirit saying, well, as soon as you drop these burdens with the Ten of Wands, right? Um, there's some sort of wish fulfillment that comes in. And I believe I said something like that at the beginning. What's the Nine of Cups? I also see somebody easing back on alcohol or drinking. Coming in the reverse is the Eight of Swords. Good. Now, what I was going to say, I'm looking at the words on the card and I'm thinking, that's not what I was going to say. <laughs> so what I was going to say, the Eight of Swords in the reverse to me talks about releasing certain um, limited self-beliefs, right? It's, it's knowing that you're not stuck. But this can also talk about, according to the card... <laughs> It talks about anger, guilt. Maybe you're releasing that kind of energy. Negative thoughts, yeah. Open to new perspectives. This is an energy of freedom. This is that energy of, do you know what? You accepting who you are and what you have to offer. Nobody's perfect. Yeah, but I still see this energy of somebody being upset that you leaving them out in the cold. You healed from certain things and you're very protected for some of you. Hanged man, ten of swords. Spirit, what else does my Virgos need to be focused on this week? I 
don't know. I'm hearing you almost got me. So, Virgos, I don't know what you guys are going through or who you're going through it with, okay? <laughs> but that's what I'm hearing. You almost got me. What else do my Virgos need to focus on this week, Spirit? Anything else? we had this the other day okay all right let's stop there how many we got uh all right let's do one more could be something about the number six that's way too many but you do have reward yourself you your energy work giving and receiving and you have perfect timing let's see what came out on the table so the first one says joy it says joy is the highest energy of all it's the magical sense that everything is possible it it says joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible level so you also need to focus on being happy okay you have entrepreneur it says self-employment suits your disposition and intentions working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance we are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyal by your side to ensure your success in all ways someone cannot stop your destiny <laughs> You have new partner, okay. It says a chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set wheels in motion for your fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort and safety. You have family. It says this situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can heal, which we can help you to understand and heal in your mind and heart surrounding this person, yourself and the experience with calming blue lights and many angels. Be open to shifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. And then you have the ocean. It says the deep blue sea speaks to your soul. Healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. Is there anything that my Virgos need to release this week? Anything they need to release. All right. Give me three cards. What's the strongest energy here? What do they need to release? Thank you. I get two more cards thank you spirit <laughs> so you have pay attention to the signs okay and it is a number 10 and i always say again you know if some of you are planning to walk away from a certain situation, a job, a house, family members, friends, whatever it is, you know, be careful. You are receiving the downloads with the owl up here, okay? This lantern kind of reminds me of, yes, the hermit energy, okay? But you see in this card, which makes me feel like what the pay attention to the signs are, you have these red eyes that are hidden in this picture. Almost like people have their eyes on you. But you see, even though they say green with envy, 
this these red eyes is making me think of envy it's making me think of jealousy it's making me think of hate right anger not everybody's happy for you now you have i'm asking what do you need to release you have the healing card coming out so there may have been something here for some of you that maybe hurt right caused you pain um, caused you sadness caused you grief and it's almost like i'm hearing spirits say you need to forgive these people and move on from those situations this card is a number 21 which could be significant or 12 but it boils down to a three and it's giving me that energy of the three of wands right releasing something healing yourself and and no one can put a time on a certain person's healing right we're all differently we're all differently do you know what don't worry about me the number three is the three of wands is making me think of moving forward seeing the bigger picture look at the bigger picture we already have a card out here saying that okay and moving on progressing you know the three of wands talks about expansion it talks about there is more out there just take whatever this was that you went through as, I guess I want to say, experience. <laughs> Depending on what you've been through, you know, a lesson. Thank you. What do you need to release the alchemy in you? And I say almost on a daily basis to my Virgos, you know, about how powerful you are. About how powerful the mind is. But you have to believe it. Alchemy. Give me a card to close out this reading for my Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. What do we have for Virgo? How do you want to close out this reading? Coming out sideways. Release your cares to God. One more. Okay. So your first one that was coming out sideways, which tells me for some of you that this is a blockage. It says, release your cares to God. It says, oh, that I had wings like a dove, then I would fly away and rest. And I just heard, why can't you? Now someone's going to come up with a hundred excuses why they can't do what they want to do or why they can't go where they want to go. Spirit says you can do anything that you put your mind to. You have spend more time outdoors. And it says, they are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit each season. It says their leaves never wither and they prosper in all they do. That makes me think that this is you, Virgos. Hmm. And then you have, leave a trail of love as you walk the earth. It says, oh Lord, what a variety of things you have made. It says, in wisdom, you have made them all. So it, I, I just heard, so Virgos, what have you learned? What wisdom and knowledge have you gained along this journey on earth? Hmm. Now, how are you going to go forward with that knowledge and wisdom? And what are you going to do with it? They're playing that song, life is what you make it. So go on, my dear. Try and make it. I know that you will. I feel like that's where I dropped the mic, Virgos. <laughs> so that is what I picked up here today. So I do hope I do hope that something has resonated with you. If it has, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But Virgos, if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light.